Sulfur is the most important secondary nutrient, and it plays multiple roles for your crop, from helping keep soil in balance to improving plant health. Sulfur is one of those nutrients that we've seen as a hot topic in the industry and become more critical for crop production over the last few years. And this is primarily due to the fact that with environmental cleanup, we are losing the free sulfur that we were getting through acid rain and through the atmosphere. In addition to the fact that we're now shooting for much higher yields. And as our yield potential goes up, we need more nutrients and sulfur is one of those critical nutrients to provide that top yield. So in the early 70s through the 80s, we had fuels that were giving us free sulfur, uh, as well as manufacturing plants. Um, but as time went on, you know, that sulfur amount that we're getting from the atmosphere was reduced. It's really kind of amazing to me that some soil labs weren't making any recommendations as late as 10 years ago for sulfur. And now most of them are making some pretty solid recommendations for sulfur. So we need to start making sure we're getting a complete soil test that includes sulfur so we can more accurately make those recommendations so we can achieve those top yield potentials. I think in a lot of cases growers are using sulfur just under the premise that somebody told them that that's a good thing. Uh, some of the things that you can see from a soil amendment aspect is you can see better water infiltration, better tilth of the ground. I use a lot of sulfur just basically due to the fact that I need to adjust either elevated magnesium, elevated sodium, elevated calcium. I need to move one cation to another and in a lot of cases we'll use sulfur as a soil amendment in that application. The plant available form of sulfur is the sulfate form, and that form is very leachable. So we need to make sure that we're managing that application as critically as we can to make sure that we're not having any movement off-site. Sulfur is important for the chlorophyll building and the protein building side of plant production. So it's essential to make sure that we have enough sulfur up front to have that highest protein and that highest working plant through the photosynthesis process. Sulfur can be applied in a number of different ways. Most applications are going out with a nitrogen application in season. This can be either two by two at planting or through a side dress or wide drop application or even through irrigation. So it's critical to make sure if you're making those in furrow applications or foliar applications that you're using a source that's safe for those applications. Otherwise some burn potential on either the root system or the leaves may occur. Sulfur deficiency can actually show up in a, in a crop from the newest leaves. So unlike nitrogen that moves from from the lowest leaves to the newest leaves, sulfur actually moves from the newest leaves to the oldest leaves. If you're looking at a corn plant, sometimes you'll see sulfur deficiency coming in the whorl. So if you see yellowing in the whorl, you might have sulfur deficiency showing up. Sulfur is a nutrient that can be taken up foliarly or through the roots. So it's one of those nutrients that has a lot of flexibility, but just like nitrogen, we have to be careful about how much and at what timing we would use that. Many nitrogen applications also include sulfur. This is to do kind of two different functions. One, it's gonna help with that uptake and utilization of nitrogen in a crop, but it's also gonna provide that nutritional value of sulfur for that crop production. Putting sulfur with nitrogen is a really good program from the standpoint that sulfur helps move nitrogen within the plant. It actually is a natural stabilizer of nitrogen. Sulfur we also get from organic matter. So as your organic matter breaks down, you're gonna get some additional sulfur, usually four to eight pounds for every 1% organic matter. So in parts of the country that have really low soil organic matter, we're gonna to have to address those sulfur requirements with added fertilizer applications. It's, it's a good nutrient, and especially in arid climates that I deal with and the high pH, we have high requirements for sulfur, and we use it all the time. Ultimately, when we're looking at a sulfur application for a soil amendment, we're going for the chemical reaction that's going to allow, uh, that chemical reaction is gonna allow one cation to be stripped and the, another one to take its place. When we're talking about sulfur as a nutrient, we're talking about that need of the plant to fulfill that chlorophyll, uh, fill that photosynthesis uh, operation, build protein in the plant, build protein in the grain. Next up, we're gonna talk about phosphorus, but for more information on sulfur, visit our website at agroliquid.com.